Paul Dirac believed that gravity is not a force. If he was right, then why would gravity have a force-carrying particle known as the graviton? The graviton is thought to be a spin-tube particle. String theory depicts it as a closed string. Strings are considered one-dimensional filaments of energy, so the graviton must have momentum and energy. This makes sense given the fact that all other force-carrying particles have momentum and energy. Einstein's momentum and energy equation is just what we need to model the graviton, where E is energy, P is momentum, C is light speed, and M is mass. Here's the graviton's momentum, PG. S is the spin matrix, psi is the eigenvector state, h bar is Planck's constant, and k is the wave number. We set the graviton's mass equal to zero. So the graviton's energy equation only has a momentum term. Eg is the graviton's energy. Now let's look at Einstein's field equations. On the left side, we have Einstein's tensor. On the right, we have Newton's constant, Gm, light speed, C, and T, the stress energy tensor. Here we contract the tensor indices. Now let's get rid of 8 pi and adjust Einstein's tensor. Next we convert tensor T to energy E over volume V. Here we divide both the numerator and denominator on the right side by C squared. Finally, we multiply both sides by area A and C squared. The result is Newton's gravity with units of velocity squared. Gravitons don't have mass so we divide the energy Eg by c squared. Then we use that figure as a factor for both sides of the equation. We now have gravitational energy. Now let's add to both sides the mass of an arbitrary particle. Take note that we still have gravitational energy. Graviton energy is now gone, but we still have gravitational energy. The gravitational energy comes from an arbitrary particle of mass m and not the graviton. Further, gravitons are massless and move at light speed. The bottom equation reveals a paradox. The graviton energy does not equal the graviton energy.